Hey everyone, my name is Patrick Mabilog. I'm a virtual professional here at Outsourcing Angel. And today I'm going to show you how I make project management boards on Notion. I first came across Notion actually through a good friend of mine who was telling me, you know what, Patrick, you should really take a look at Notion because you're the perfect kind of nerd to actually fall in love with it. And he was very, very right. Started playing around with Notion about probably around two years ago. Prior to that, I used a lot of other project management tools to help me with task management, to manage ad hoc tasks, to launch marketing campaigns and all of those things. And so one of the few reasons why I love Notion is number one is because you can build it and customize it according to your needs. I find that it's something that is very flexible. On top of that, it's also very minimalistic. I like it when your user experience or the tools that you're using don't have a lot of flair to it because what it actually does is it makes you focus on the essentials. And I think that's that's what Notion is about. It's about focusing on function and a little bit of form here and there as well. You can add a little flair, once, especially once you start moving towards the more advanced stages of playing with Notion. I do warn you, however, there were nights that I would spend like time until like 2 to 3 a.m. just playing around with Notion boards. Now I'm going to show you what Notion looks like and how you can actually build your own project management board on Notion. So if you see, Notion is very simple. That's what I love about it. There's an area for you to uh, build your own dashboard for things like wikis and you can even create your own personal space for task management and all of that. But for today's video, what I want to show you is how I create project management boards and some, some aspects to project management, I think principle-wise that can really help you out when you're trying to launch a marketing campaign or if you're trying to lead a small team or create an ad hoc project. And so the first step really is to create a page. And so if you go over here to the, the left side of your screen, you're going to see a a toolbar or, or, or a sidebar rather where you have the option to create a page and all of your pages will appear here. And I think that's important because all of the content that you're going to use on your Notion board will end up on this page. And so to create the page is pretty simple. All I have to do is just go over to the left side and there's a, there's a section that says add a page. And when you click on that, it's going to create a new page. And so the first thing, of course, that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put a name to your page. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to call this a prod, this uh, this uh, page our product management board. And when you create a project management board, you can customize a little bit, you know, just to make it stand out just a little bit, just enough for you to uh, visually see what the purpose of the board is for. So you can actually choose an icon. You can upload your own image if you want to, or you can choose from standard emoji. So for this case, for example, you can put something as simple as a, as a cog or a gear to show that this is you know for project management purposes you can add a little cover there if you want to change the cover uh, it integrates directly with, uh, with unsplash which provides you with a bunch of stock photos to choose from so something along the lines of showing you you know teams working together or whatever i mean whatever you'd like to have there and so that's basically the starting point, right? To really give your management board a very minimal look just so that it stands out just a little bit compared to the other pages that you're going to have. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually start creating the content or, or, the, or the system for your project management board. Now, one thing about, about Notion is that uh, there is very, it's, it's like you're building your own system or your own website, right? But you actually don't code at all when you're doing this. And that's that's the beauty of it. You can build something so customized, but it doesn't require a whole lot of technical knowledge. So where do you start? Basically, it all starts with this little plus sign over here. If I hover over that, it says click to add the block below. And so when you click on that, you have a bunch of options here. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to create the project management board. And I believe that the simplest way to do that is to go over here at the bottom and click on table database, the table database. And if you click on that, what it does is it creates this table for you where you can actually start to build out like an area for you to put in project milestones and important entries and fields that will help you to manage your projects properly. And so I'm going to just call that project dashboard or this part right here. And so the first thing that you're going to need, of course, is you're going to put in 
labels to your fields. And so first is you're going to have to put a, to a label to your project milestone, which could be anything that you want to deliver in order to launch a project. Let's say, for example, you're creating a social media, you know, social media marketing campaign for, for your upcoming product launch. And so you'd actually put in a milestones like create social media graphics, or you can actually put in write your captions. You could put other things like create you know, videos uh, for your social media campaign and all of that. So obviously, you're going to have like a whole lot of different project milestones available there. And so the next thing that you're going to need to figure out is who's going to create these milestones. And so if you go over here actually to the tags portion, which is the column right next to the project milestone column, you'll see that there's an option here called property type and you have different options here. And these options basically are different kinds of fields that you can use for different purposes. So for example, if you're trying to look for a field that will fit into who am I going to uh, assign this task to, you're going to choose something like person. Uh, and what the person uh, field is going to do is you're going to be able to put in and tag in people who are going to be part of your team. So you can put a name, you can actually change the name of that field and put something like contact person. Some Yeah, and so what you're going to do there is you're going to have like the option of tagging people who are part of the team. Obviously, I'm the only one in this board. But if you have, if you start to invite other people to your board by clicking on the share button here on top, you'll be able to add more people in and you can assign those tasks to them. The next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to put in a due date. And so going back here to the property type, you actually have the option here to choose the date and you can actually change the name once again to something along, along the lines of due or due date. And then you can actually start assigning a due date to those tasks. So for example, for social media graphics, when do you need that by? Let's say you need it by uh, two weeks from now. And so you can actually start putting in those dates for the project milestones so that you have dates to shoot for. You can put in deadlines, make sure that your project gets launched on time. And you can actually add more uh, fields right there. Like you can put in files and media. If you need to connect anything there or probably put something along the lines of uh, maybe a number. If you're trying to put in a budget to it, like this is how much we're going to spend for the social media graphics for you know, paying for the person who's going to write the captions. But I think the last field that you're going to need over here is something that will help you track you know, the progress of each milestone. And so in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead over once again to the property type. And I would choose this one right here that says select. And so if you, what it does for you is that it gives you, you know, like fields, like uh, pre-assigned fields. And I, I'm sure that you know where, the, where this is going. Those pre-assigned fields will be the status of those milestones. So you could probably put something along the lines of not started to, you know, to signify that this task hasn't begun, begun yet, or you can put ongoing and you can put something that might say approved uh, and then uh, maybe something, some, some, some people would put something along the lines of uh, for approval. Uh, if, you're, if you need someone to sign off on, on, the, on the final look of a graphic or, or the content. The nice thing about, you know, about Notion as well is once you've built out this, this, uh, this board, uh, with you know the the this column this this feature called select it actually it populates all across your milestone so every single milestone that you build later on in this column it will those those uh those fields will be ready for selection for you probably just changed approved to the color green just to show that you know i think the color green usually signifies that a project is ready for for approval and it's ready for launch and so that's that's I think those are the basic fields that any project dashboard should have: project milestone, contact person, the due date, and the status of your project. And so let's let's just put a status to all of these things for now. And so you're probably asking the question: All right, so I need to put you know subtasks to these milestones, like for example, social media graphics. There's obviously a lot of social media graphics 
that you have to create for a social media marketing campaign. So how do you do that? If you hover over the project milestone name, you'll actually see this little button that says open here. And what it does is it opens like it pops up a, a, a whole sub page for this milestone alone. And you can actually start putting in more content here for more details. So say, for example, you want to start creating a to-do list here that might put in, that might include things like, you know, the kinds of social media graphics that you want to create. Uh, and you can start creating a to-do list here, probably put in a cover image, maybe some square code graphics, a few FB and Instagram story images, and so on and so forth. All the social media graphics that you will need to create for your social media marketing campaign. And what you can actually do here is you can actually start creating more, more, uh, more detailed instructions. So say, for example, for the cover image, you're going to want to give more instructions to your graphic designer and make sure that you use a bright photo and then the text on it will say something along the lines of get ready for the big launch and you can put in the dimensions and any other you know uh, instructions that you're going to need in order to, to you know give your graphic designer as much direction as possible you can actually give them the, op the option to start uploading the image as well if you would want them to submit the graphics here for future reference. That is very much uh, a good idea to have for your project management system. And so here's another amazing thing about uh, creating your project management board inside Notion. Let's say, for example, you're not the kind of person that likes to you know, manage projects in a dashboard system or a dashboard view. You can actually create different views on Notion as well for your project management system. So if you click on add view, you'll see that there are some options here. Personally, for me, I like using the board or the Kanban board setup. So if you click on that and you just hit create right here, it's actually going to transform your project management board to you know, this Kanban format. And you, you, you probably heard of Kanban if you've used Trello or Asana in the past. And that's also a very popular way for you to, you know, to, to manage your projects. If you don't like your project management board and your, you know, other teammates like the table, then what, what happens here basically is you, the, everyone now has the, a, an option to ship from, you know, from one view to another. And you have other views as well. You have the timeline view, which will probably give you a more, you know, a more linear timeline of like where what where the projects when are the projects going to have to be completed by what's the period that they're going to be created let's say for example for writing captions you want to give someone four days to do that the timeline option is also a great way to do that uh, there's also a calendar system where in the color calendar system you'll see the project uh, milestones spread out across a calendar and so that's the beauty i think that's one thing that's wonderful about notion is because it gives you the flexibility to move around in these different views that you have so that's the first thing that you're going to need if you want a good project management board is you're going to need a dashboard for you to put in your tasks and there's a lot more actually that i could teach but i just want to keep it basic for now the last thing that you need to add to your project management board that i think a lot of people miss out on is a a good meeting cadence tracker and so what the meeting cadence tracker does is it, it allows you to put in meeting minutes when you have meetings with your teams for updates and things that you need to get done. So how do you do that? So usually what I like to do is I like to create a list system. And so if you head over here to the small plus sign, once again, we use the table, table database. And there obviously the other views that we just uh, created are also here, like the board database, which is the Kanban board, the timeline database, and the calendar database. The last database that I think is important in Notion setup is the list database. And so I like to use the list database when you're keeping meeting minutes for, for your cadence meetings when you're uh, managing a project. So what, what does that look like? Let's say, for instance, going back to the example of your social media marketing campaign. Let's say that you set every Wednesday afternoon for a catch-up meeting with your team. And so what you can actually do here is you can start creating meeting minutes for those, uh, for those catch-ups so that you can actually get feedback on where are we when it comes to these projects. And so what I would usually do is I would create meeting minutes right here. I would put 
uh, I would put a list system. And so the list basically will give you like, like an enumerated board basically for all of the meeting minutes that you're going to have pertaining to this project. So let's, let's uh, look at how this is going to get used. So let's say, for instance, you have a meeting on Wednesday uh, and that meeting, you can actually change the property type here once again to date. And that meeting is going to happen on February 9th. Today is February 3 uh, when I'm recording this. And let's say, for instance, you want to put a status here once again, the select status. And you can say it's a, it's a marketing cadence meeting or a budget review, whatever, whatever purpose the meeting is. So you might want to put that there just so that it's good to know what the the, the meeting is there for you can actually also put in uh you know attendees so who's attending that meeting and you can either use uh the text format or the person per format once again if you have people added to your list and so obviously you can add as many people as you want there so let's say for example you're going to call this meeting minutes for uh february the 9th of 2022 now, what you're going to do here, you're actually going to start creating, you know, these meeting minutes. Here's an interesting thing I think that might come in handy as well when you're creating your project management boards. The wonderful thing about meeting minutes is you can actually start to put in relations as well to these two databases that you've created. The project dashboard is one database and the meeting minutes is another database. You can actually connect these two databases. Now, let me show you how I'm going to do that. Let's say, for example, this meeting is really in uh, to discuss the, the, the videos that we're going to create for this marketing campaign. So what I want to do actually is I want to connect this meeting uh, minutes dashboard to uh, uh, this meeting minutes uh, you know, content rather to the uh, create videos uh, milestone that we're going to create. And what that does basically is it, it allows me to transfer data from one, one dashboard to an, on another. And so what I'm going to do here basically is I'm going to add a property here in the meeting minutes, and I'm going to put in relation, which is an advanced property type for Notion. And it gives me the opportunity to select a database to connect this uh, database with. And so I'm going to look for the project dashboard database that we created for us to uh, see you know, the content and transfer the content from one set to another. So what it does is it gives me an opportunity to connect this to a project milestone that is on the project dashboard that we already have. So when I click on that, it gives me the option to select which, which, uh, which milestone this meeting is about. So this meeting specifically is about creating videos. And so let's say, for example, that this is a brainstorm meeting. So we're going to brainstorm on ideas for the videos. And then you can actually start putting in, you know, different uh, pegs for videos that you want to include there. You can actually start putting in some notes. Let's follow this uh, editing style. Here's some good music ideas and all the kinds, you know, any, any ideas that you want to throw in there, you can start logging them in here and you can actually start to have a better sense of like how can we collaborate better when coming up with these, with these project deliverables. And so if you create meeting minutes uh, with, you know, uh, across your, your project, you can actually create more meeting minutes. You can schedule one for another date, for instance. You can have a meeting on Valentine's. If you're that kind of person, that's completely up to you. Just don't, you know, piss off your partner. <laughs> you're going to do a budget review, so for example, and then you're going to set all the attendees. And then project milestone. Here's the amazing thing is you can actually create, start to, you know, select, uh, you know, other, other parts as well of, of the project uh, that you might want. Let's say, for example, you're, you want to review the budget on social media graphics and you want to talk about how much you spent for that. You can have that as well. So for me, I, I believe that those are the two most important parts of a good project management board. You need, to, you need to have a project dashboard where you put in all your milestones so that you can track the things that you need to deliver, the results that you, that, that, that you have, the big rocks that are non-negotiable to making sure that this project, this project goes on very smoothly. 
And then you're going to have your meeting minutes basically so that you can exchange information with your team and you can, you know, discuss with one another and you can log, you know, any changes that might happen to your project as you continue to develop. And obviously, uh, as I release this video, I'm going to give this project management board as a template for you to follow. If you would like to copy this, I'm going to uh, leave the, uh, the link available to this YouTube description. You're going to see it right there. And so you can just copy that link and you can duplicate it into your Notion board. That's how I create my project management boards. And I hope that it helps you out. Obviously, you can create and you can customize that according to what works best for your context and for your team. But I hope that that gives you a good starting point when it comes to managing your projects better and achieving more results for your business and just smashing out those projects so you can continue to grow and scale your business and experience better results. I hope that helps. And thank you so much for your time and all the best.